Hi everyone. So today we are in Awan Besar. So from Kuala Lumpur, we just take around uh, 30 minutes uh, by this train actually. So we arrive in Awan Besar. Basically, we want to explore the area or the suburbs of Bukit Jalil because nowadays Bukit Jalil is belongs to the brand new iconic address in Kuala Lumpur. Here in Bukit Jalil, also as you can see, surrounds everywhere so many condominiums. Many of them they are new ones because Bukit Jalil is currently one of the most coveted address in Kuala Lumpur. It always was Mount Kiara, Damansara, Bangsar, and the, ne the newest one is Bukit Jalil. There are also many things interesting here in Bukit Jalil, like a, a Pavilion Mall, the same like Pavilion in Bukit Bintang, the same brand, obviously, different mall. And also there is National Stadium. And also today, just when we are making this video, Malaysia is playing with Thailand. That's gonna be exciting. We're probably gonna shoot the stadium a little bit later at the end of the video. Now let's go. There are also so many parks here, so it's also green and it's definitely busier than Cyber Jaya when we were recently. So we came here directly from KLCC at the front of the Twin Towers to here to... Uh, what's the name of the station actually? Because it's mixing. Bukit Jail is actually where is the stadium. And this one is the... But this thing... Awan Besar. Awan Besar. So because there are actually two stations, Bukit Jail area is pretty big. Uh, cost us for 30 ringgit, which is actually pretty all right. I'm gonna tell you for half hour ride. Right? And uh, super convenient train. As always, as always. As Damian explained before, Bukit Jalil area is also the brand new uh, coveted area in Kuala Lumpur. As you see, just go there, already condominium. The, and then if you turn right, we will go to the bus. We'll take bus, we will go exploring a pavilion and also a recreational park in Bukit Jalil. Also, the first thing what I realized when I arrived here is that this is actually very quiet and cozy here. I mean, there are condominiums, we are going somewhere. There is the bus, uh, special bus from the uh, Bukit Pavilion, Pavilion Mall, actually. We just have to find out. And also, there is the big parking area. So if you wanna, you know, don't stay in the traffic, you can just, you know, the train so loud, <laughs> scary a little bit. Uh, you can park your car here and go by train to the center. Many people in the big city is doing like this one. Okay, now we're gonna find the bus and we're gonna go to Pavilion Mall and the recreational park, as Vinny said. Uh, I just have no idea where is the bus. <laughs> we're gonna find out, we're gonna figure out that. All right, so you have regular buses going somewhere in the area of Bukit Jail, and this is our uh, bus going to the mall directly. That's actually cool. I don't know if it's free or we have to pay, but I think it's free bus. Bad news is not, this cannot be always good, right? <laughs> The bus is going at 5 o'clock to the, to the mall and it's recently 3.50, so 1 hour 10 minutes. We have to figure out different way of transportation. Well, at least we know now. So eventually we're gonna take a grab for 12 ringgits back to the mall, uh, which is actually more expensive than the trip from the city center by the metro, but that's how it's worked like. All right, we just arrived in Pavilion Bukit Jalil. And yes, this is the same brand as Pavilion in Bukit Bintang, but here is in Bukit Jalil. So later on, we will have lunch because it's afternoon time, it's lunch time. We will explore what is it inside. I know it's small again, but let's see what's the difference. Ooh. So cool, actually. So happy to see that. This is like a modern part of the Kuala Lumpur, by the way. Check this out. Of course, condominiums, but look at this road. Look at the entrance to the mall, and there is no traffic jams. I like it already. Chayang, they have a so cute Chinese New Year celebration. I hope you get rich. Don't see Pa Chang. Let's have a look. That's actually a nice exhibition regarding the Chinese New Year. Seems like a Sayagi joke. She always liked this Chinese Japanese cuts, actually, but they are always. Uh, in the Chinese shops, by the way, the Lucky Cuts. And this is, look at this one. Well, Pavilion Book in Jalil. Okay, nice, very nice. As you can see also so many people coming here, enjoying their time. And very nice decorations indeed, I have to agree. And the shape of the mall is very similar like uh, other pavilion. As you can see, actually, decorations are very, very nice. We are lucky as we are experiencing the Christmas and Chinese New Year on this trip. Very nice, uh, very nice, beautiful. Let's What's roll that? This one. Oh, lucky rolling wheels. Check this out. Make a wish. Make a wish and try. 
And then we have good health. Very important, very important. Okay, now Damien's turn. Good health again. I want to try this one. One more, one more time. time. Happiness, happiness okay. Health, well and happiness. <laughs> Let's go. Very nice lobby of the mall, I'm gonna tell you. This one actually looks very beautiful, especially during the decorations for the Chinese New Year. And they have also lonely tunes here. So cool, check this out. Last shot and we're gonna explore more. I'm gonna tell you, I know it's mall and some people like malls, some others not, but in Asia, Southeast Asia, especially malls are very important because of aircon and other facilities. But this one is actually very nice. I really like it because it looks good. It's very clean and it's modern. Everything looks very new here. And there is also many things around except the mall, not only mall itself. Also, just at the front of the mall, you have a special dedicated place like under the roof, uh, currently for the kids, like attractions and you know, stuff like this one. There's many entrances to the mall. The main one is there actually. Okay, let's get inside the mall. Just like what I told you before, Bukit Jalil is becoming the brand new iconic address in Kuala Lumpur. Just like behind me, the brand new Hayat place still under progress. And then look at surround, so many a condominium and then residency area. Wow, I think this suburbs will beat Damansara or Monkiara later on in the future. There is of course the Starbucks, that must be, but also some nice looking cafe bar at the front of the mall. And well, in case if you'd like to come, this is the name, Pavilion Bukit Jalil, like this one. So one thing that I realized here, there are so many luxury brands here in the mall, like the Channel Dior and whatever it is, there are so many. So yeah, it's exactly the <laughs> brother or sisters of the pavilion in Bukit Bintang. Exactly. So everything is nice, everything is nice to show, the aircon and it's beautiful, but there is no McDonald's in, in pavilion small, so I don't know what we're gonna eat. No budget food here. <laughs> we are on budget so i don't know we're gonna figure out as always nice mall nice decoration very looks new and looks clean interesting architecture down there they also have a tokyo town so japanese accents here and well that's the shops what you can find some cafes stuff like this one let's see let's see let's see overall everything is here nice but definitely you can feel this this is for the like a middle up or high class people here so a little bit different budgets and I believe also accommodation here is quite pricey, similar like Chiara and Damansara, just newer. So <laughs> I think this is the brand new place in Kuala Lumpur for like this one, yeah? Like this one, <laughs> look at this actually, that's so cool. <laughs> also in the malls like this one, in the new parts of Kuala Lumpur for the areas like this one and the malls like pavilions, you're not gonna find the proper food courts, but you're gonna find more likely restaurants. So many restaurants on the grand, grand or lower grand floors. They are just simply restaurants, not the food courts, but the restaurant, but it's considered as the food court or the place where the food options. Our survival food arrive. <laughs> Burger King today because there is no McDonald's in this mall. Burger uh, for Damian. Burger for Damian because we're going to the park. We need energy, you know, proteins. <laughs> And well, this is whooper with cheese, obviously cokes, fries, and cost us 41, 41 ringgits. ringgits. Yeah, like this one. Well, still better than 120, yeah? <laughs> okay, and this is how it looks, the whooper with cheese, just in case if you are interested and want to do like we are doing. <laughs> not bad. So big food, Sayang. Yeah, not bad at all. One thing I just realized that there are still so many empty blocks that maybe if you want to invest in Malaysia, especially in Bukit Jalil area, this mall will be the place for you. So that was uh, how to get here to Bukit Jalil, the pavilion mall in Bukit Jalil. But one thing what I realized being here for like two hours, there's not so many international visitors from Western countries, I could say or also not so many expats from Western countries who are living in Bukit Jail, like in Bangsar, for example. We still have to cover the Mount Kiara and the Mansara in the next, uh, next upcoming days. But here is like new, nice, but still like needs probably time again 
to being very busy, right? Maybe uh, what I can say that more wealthy uh, locals are here living. Oh, that's that's for sure. That's definitely okay. Now we are heading to park. There is actually very nice, beautiful park. I heard, I saw somewhere. Oh, look at this one. This could be a car dealer shop here, but also empty. Um, yeah. Let's see the park, greenery, and some condominiums. Let's see. I know, concrete jungle again, guys. But look at this. Maybe for those of you who are interested in investment in Malaysia, I think Bukit Jalil is the place for you. It's just like a brand new place that, you know, just like a flower who is blooming. Everywhere, still empty plot. So we are actually entering the park right now from there. There is actually all the Bukit Jalil Mall and the, all the condominiums. But there is like a special bridge crossing the, you know, the street and everything. But they forgot to build the path, actually. <laughs> it's actually very funny. They forgot to build it. But the park is very nice, actually. So many people jogging, running and exercising here. Let's see. All right, so this is the Taman Jalil Recreational Park, like a city park surrounds everywhere by the condominiums this one is actually very new there one they're a little bit older behind me are also new what you saw previously uh, very nice park and in my opinion pretty nice place to live here but uh, i think this is for the little bit more into higher class but yeah it's pretty nice and i see a lot of people actually jogging exercising enjoying the time it's saturday when we are filming this one so it's weekend time uh, yeah it's cool even it is surrounded by the concrete jungle, condominium mall, but this city park, you see, you can still spot many natural animals like the birds chirping. So nice. And also behind me, there is a beautiful lake, beautiful birds flying, enjoying time. It's not only human enjoying, but birds also enjoying time here. Still nice. And also they really taking care of this park. It's really nice actually. Also in the parks in Malaysia you cannot smoke, which is actually in my opinion very good as you cannot do it. Sayang, so, where are you going? Let's go there. Okay, let's go. Oh, look at that. Oh, in the pond they have a turtles as well. Yeah, they have a little fountain and they have a little turtles here. Check this out. Living peacefully. That's nice. Hello. See if you consider living in Malay. Sayang, so, come closer. What is this? That's the crocodile? This one, you see this one? Which one? This one. Oh, look at this one. Biawak lah. Biawak crocodile water lizard. Popular in Bangkok in the parks and here also in, in, in Bukit Jalil. Let's see if he's gonna go out or not. If get out, we can see the shape. Ooh, ooh. So what I was talking about, ah, <laughs> I see everywhere the turtles and the water lizards distracting me. But I was thinking, if you would like to come to Kuala Lumpur, live in Malaysia, would you consider to live in Bukit Jalil? Uh, it's definitely different in the area where we are living and different to Bukit Bintang, uh, different to Bangsar. We didn't show you yet Mount Kiara and the Mansara, but this one is actually pretty nice and it's still like a, nah, 30 minutes maybe to go to the center or even less. Pretty cool in my opinion. They also have uh, some big catfish. I think this is the name proper here in the water. So nice actually. What I can see then, if we compare Cyberjaya, I know that when we were in Cyberjaya, it was uh, pouring and then we didn't go to Taman Tasik Park there. But when I see and stroll around here in Bukit Jalil, I think Bukit Jalil is more futuristic than Cyberjaya and more uh, optimistic. <laughs> Honey, why there are so many cars parking here? Yeah, they park here because there is the mall, going to the mall and they park here and they're going to the park, like these people behind me. And we are actually used to do like this as well. Oh, I see. Unfortunately, the lift doesn't work here. <laughs> okay, Sayang, you can see there. Big seven, that's 7-Eleven. Let's have a coffee there. I really need some coffee. Check this out. Guess where we are in 7-Eleven again. <laughs> <laughs> for one ringgit and for three ringgit. 390, yeah, and this one, I don't know, four or five. And again, you can charge everything, you know. Coffee break. Cheers. Very nice shop, by the way. And yeah, we are on budget, as you know. So McDonald's, Burger King, 7-Eleven, that's our best friends. But when we're gonna find out the house and we're gonna make so many good videos and you're gonna guys watch it, maybe we can go to Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs>
nothing to complain about. Actually, this coffee in this particular 7-Eleven is very nice. Cheers, guys. We are going back to the bus station. We're gonna try to catch the bus this time back to LRT and show you the stadium. But I, first, I wanna show you a little bit 360 degree how's the, uh, well, area looks like around still having a coffee and this is the condominiums the park chu its names like this one i think you can stay on airbnb here as well and yeah it's pretty modern i gonna tell you it's definitely modern that's for sure and you can know from the middle up or higher class what the cars parking here most of them the abms new bms alphards land rovers actually this is like a bmw club here only bms here and audi spark mercedes so yeah, it must be at least middle up, sir. at least middle up. <laughs> we found our bus stop is actually here and it's going from Pavilion to Bukit Jalil at 6.30 in 12 minutes from now. Okay, cool. So this bus is going only from the mall to the metro station and we're gonna show you also a little bit what's going on on the street because it's actually nice. This bus is for free, by the way, if you're coming from metro. Well, last time we just had to wait too long. That's why we take a car, right? And as I said, so many condominiums everywhere. So we're gonna show you a little bit of the Bukit Jail hood and what you can see outside outside the mall obviously i believe more there's actually damansara i've been once in damansara looks pretty similar like here just this one is newer and still more quiet so it's probably good time to move in right now and oh little traffic even here as well <laughs> they have also asian football confederation here around little traffic situation recently and I think there is the entrance to an over condominium, you know, stuff yes. like this one. Nice. All right, we arrived to the Bukit Jalil, where is actually the national stadium and all of these people with the wow, yo, <laughs> with the yellow, yellow t-shirts, yellow accents, they're going to watch the football match, Thailand versus Malaysia, Malaysia versus Thailand. Bukit Jalil is famous for the national stadium. So the biggest stadium in Malaysia, in Bukit Jalil. That's why Bukit Jalil becoming the brand new address, iconic one. And now all the people coming from Kuala Lumpur because the train from Kuala Lumpur came. Check this out. This is just the check it, check out desk, you know, and they're already tense and everything. So busy today here. Everybody are looking for watching the football match. That's cool. They like football. <laughs> wow, I never been to stadium, football stadium, even in Bali, you know, <laughs> or in any <laughs> other place in Indonesia. But here, look at the crowd. Okay, let's go, let's go. All the people here dressing up, buying the t-shirts, preparing themselves to watching the football match, of course. Uh, wow, wow. <laughs> I'm actually happy as we came here today, so cool. Okay, let's, where is the stadium? We're gonna show you a little bit how does it look like. This is the vibe before the football match between Malaysia and Thailand. One more time, I just would like to notice. Uh, you can buy the t-shirts and everything everywhere. And seems like a half of Kuala Lumpur came here today to watch it. And the stadium is just at the front of us, over there. Let's see. So let's follow where they are going because <laughs> seems like this place is super packed and no one of them is foreigners. Exactly, yeah. I'm the only one only here. Yeah, the foreigners here actually. Actually, yeah. I think I should get myself the t-shirt, the yellow one at least, because I'm literally and only one here, like a Western look like. Of course, so much food option everywhere around. You can buy Nasi Lemak before the football match stuff like this one so we're gonna stroll around a little bit i'm thinking now about to having a yellow t-shirt to match <laughs> you have a yellow accent already at least uh, so cool actually really cool okay people <laughs> in malaysia should be proud of you <laughs> yeah i'm getting myself the malaysian so you support malaysian team today honey yeah i'm gonna support malaysia okay, okay. extra large very good how, how much 25 25 ringgits I will go. Oh, my metro car. I don't want to lose it. 25. Nike, Malaysia. Good luck. <laughs> Welcome. Malaysia. Malaysia <laughs> menang. Okay, let's go. Now I'm ready to walk here. I feel more comfortable now. Let's go. Meanwhile, surrounding, even if, even though it's raining, you see, oh my goodness, so hot of people. 
By the way, this T-shirt uh, is original Nike, as you can see, and it costs you only 25 ringgit, which is like a 550, maybe six dollars US next to the stadium. Very good value, by the way. Okay, uh, it's rainy, but we're gonna go somewhere show the stadium. The game is start at eight or nine o'clock, and it's currently seven, so gonna be very busy very soon. Look at this guy. <laughs> Have a nice head. Uh, this is actually already at the front of the stadium, National Stadium. It's just pity as it's rainy, but we have to get inside a little bit. And I want to show you what's going on already, the vibe of the football match. As you can see, we started this video with the exploring something new, going to the mall, residential area, and finishing with the uh, football national team match. That's actually so cool. As you can see, Stadium National. And, well, it's rainy. But everybody already going inside, making pictures, and this is the vibe. Also, I have already proper t-shirt, <laughs> so that's good. And, well, we cannot get inside. Yeah. But we uh, didn't have a ticket. I didn't know where to buy the ticket. I didn't know if this is the football match, actually, today. Just find out where we were coming here. But uh, we're gonna stroll a little bit around. Anyways, gonna show you the vibes. I don't know what's going on here, actually, it's so busy. But there is one nice, very nice stall uh, with the some sort of sausage. What I really want to show because this is so thing what I never saw before. So much smoke. Well, the sausage looks good. Tong Kumo Mustafa sausage Cambodia. Like a Cambodian sausage or something like that. Looks very good and looks spicy also. Very spicy. It's almost sunset time. Uh, there is the place where you're buying the t-shirts, all of this stuff and the food. And this is already at the front of the stadium. Here we go. Looks like this one. Looks also very new. And, and one thing about the capacity of National Stadium Bukit Jalil is 87,411. Impressive. Impressive. The biggest in Malaysia. This is how big stadium is. In the background, there are Bukit Jalil, of course, stadium itself. Uh, today is the game. Wow, so much people. 90,000 almost capacity, right? Almost 90,000. Look at wow. the parking area behind you. Also big, many people coming by metro stations as well, by the trains, as you saw. Okay, that's how it looks like. But very nice place. Happy as we came here, yeah? All right, guys, I have a t-shirt. I hope so Malaysia gonna win today. Whoa, but unfortunately we don't have a ticket to watch the game. But that's the stadium, you know where is it, that's the area. So much people, the good vibes. I don't see any demonstration or any bad things like you can see sometimes in other countries when you are watching the football match, if you know what I mean, you know. So everything looks good. Okay, that's it for today's video. I have a t-shirt I gonna wear in the next week for sure. And well, that's the stadium. Everything looks nice. You know Bukit Jalil now, what you expect. In my opinion, very nice place. And yeah, my eyes are everywhere because of so much is going on. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck, Malaysia. See you tomorrow. See ya. Take care. Okay.